the feeling it's Christmas time? Somebody did ask, when am I doing a Christmas themed shave? Well, there's a good start. Look, all Mrs. H's work, not mine. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Absolutely fantastic in the festive mood. Welcome to the Sunday shave. How are you doing? How's your week been? How's your health? How's your shaves going? Uh, don't answer all at once. Uh, just tell me during the shave. Um, what are we using? I fancied a menthol shave today. Uh, nothing to do with the weather. It's not particularly warm. It's quite cold out. But um, I get, I enjoy menthol and now and again. And today is one of those now and again shaves, if you like. So what are we using? Um, the Sterling Soap Company. Um, and it's Mar Margaritas in the Arctic. Um, it's quite a good one, this. And this was sent to me uh, a while ago now by Shaving with Rich. Um, still going strong. So, thank you, Rich. Um, razor. I fancied Merca Future today. Uh, the chrome version. And in that is that Lord Platinum Blade. Lovely blade. I'm going to see how it works in this. It's a second time use for it. I used it in the last shave. And I'm going to start on setting the highest setting, 6. You can see that. And then I'm going to... Yeah, 6. I need glasses for this. And then I'm going to... Across the growth will go down to um, 3. And then again, so we'll go to 1. Uh, so I'm using the razor for its full potential. Um, and it's just something different. Brush of choice is a grey dog special. This is the two band badger with that beautiful wooden handle. Lovely. That's been soaking for 10 15 minutes in hot tap water. And as you can see, it's wet, but it's not, well, it is dripping of a shake. But um, it's not shake, it's not shake, it's not dripping now. There we go. <laughs> so we'll start to lather up. And we can add water. Yeah, this likes water. So brush in the water, good bit, and look at, ooh, we're going to have some fumes from this. And uh, straight away. Have you asked for anything shaving wise Christmas time? Because um, believe it or not, I haven't. Uh, I believe I have more than enough. Thank you very much. And to the look at that straight away. That's that's really nice. That's enough for me. Um, to the two winners of my giveaway. Uh, if you're watching, I am posting your parcels off Monday of next week. Uh, yeah, Monday or Tuesday, anyway, the latest. So they will be on 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 their way to you. Okay, so I'm going to start this shave with a a shave oil, pre-shave oil. This is a shaving oil, but I'm using it as a pre-shave oil. Uh, shave oil, citrus and bay. So it's quite a quite a clovey scent to this, but it's, I'm not bothered about that. Um, can add about. Oof, that's. Bit too much in my hands, just you have to excuse my hair like this. Um, oh, that's nice. It's just due to um, I need a haircut and it's going scraggly, gets on my nerves, and so and I haven't had time, it's so busy with work. And sometimes you need you know, 28 hours in a day, <laughs> but this just helps. The glide and the protection when you're using a, I don't always use it, um, a aggressive razor, especially. And if you suffer from any sort of irritation, the more protective layers you can do, the better. Right, rinse. We don't want oily hands with a Merca Future. Right. And off we go. Nice, aren't it? Right, that's nice uh, oil, that's like a moisture cream. Put the lid on that. 
So here we go. Sterling margaritas in the Arctic. You can feel um, like a coolness then. I mean, look at that, you can't argue with that. Excellent soap. I've used it before, as I say. Yeah, you can smell the menthol. Man, it's doing a great job if you've got a cold, anything like that. And as you can see, shave oil. That's not an expensive one. The Sudsy Soapery, they sent me that with some soaps. Um, well, I don't think it's an expensive one, but it just shows you you can use shaving oil with soap. I've said this before. I mean, look at this. No problem. Right. Empty that, off we go. Hot rinse before we start to warm the razor. So Merca Future, no overhang on its highest, most aggressive setting. Here we go, nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. Almost lifting the razor, so it's just the blade. Oh, that fumes good. So far, so good. Cutting through those whiskers without a care, that is. That's a nice blade, that Lord, you know. For me, anyway. Um, we're all different, obviously. Nice and cool and beautiful, eh? Very nice. Nice to have a change, isn't it? I know it's not the, as I said, it's not the... In summer, it's nice to use menthol. If you've got a cold, it's nice to use menthol. Um, but it's also nice, just like this, when you're just fancy. Using menthol. Very gently. No pressure needed. If I really draw the top lip down, like that, I can get under the nose. The future, I've said it many times, you could put a piece of cardboard in there as a blade, it would give you a good shave. <laughs> That's lovely, really nice. Almost nothing left. Okay, that's that, tidy up, there we go, and I'll see you in round two <laughs> when we go across the growth, and here we go across the growth, thick, creamy and loads of it, painted and it should feel cooler, hmm, I think one of the, this is good, it is cooling, it's a good menthol, but I think one of the strongest 
um, menthol soaps I've used is the Phoenix Frostbite Phoenix Accruterment Phoenix Accruterments Artisan not at all wrong PAA I think it's Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um, there, Frostbite, wow. Um, and combine that with the cologne I'm going to use today, or the aftershave, the lotion, you're on a freezer alert. Okay, so here we go across the growth. So I hope you're having a good weekend. I did say I'd go to setting three, didn't I? But I'm going to leave it on the highest setting for across the growth because I'm enjoying it. Nothing to do with the fact I forgot. Sunday dinner, what are you having? Well, I shall tell you now, I'm having um, roast beef today with roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, carrots, peas and lashentos of gravy. Along with lashentos of scrumpy jack cider. No boiled potatoes, I mean roast. I am going to make my own um, uh, Yorkshire puddings and I'll probably film it when I do and put it on the other channel. Double chin. They were back in stock on Amazon double chins but I'm not sure if they've sold out again. Christmas rush, everybody wants a, a bit of a chin, you see, for Christmas. Let's give this a slickness test, because I can't remember the slickness on its own. Yeah, very nice. Lovely. Tidy up. How's that? Nice and cooling that. Beautiful feeling. Nice on a Sunday shave. Cheers you up just before you start cooking. So I'll see you on the third pass which is against the growth and someone did ask why I pause or fade between passes. It was because when I let the video run for the whole length of the video or the filming, this camera creates every 12 or 17 minutes. It depends on the quality you've got the camera set on. I think it's about 12 to 17, somewhere around there. It would create a new video file on its own. And when I brought them together, it would just cause a bit of a blip and it got on my nerves. So I now cut in between, that's why um, I stop the camera. Anyway, too much technical stuff. Get on with the shave ball. Right oh, thanks very much. See you in pass three. And welcome to pass three. Shall we stay on set in six? Right oh. Right, what I'm gonna do, there's plenty in the bowl. I'm gonna add water to the brush. Good bit of water actually. There we go. And explosion. Oh and that's icy cold now. That's one good thing with a menthol soap. After each pass, it um, gets cooler with each application. 
lovely. And of course you're getting nearer to the skin where the whiskers disappearing so the sensation is uh, more advanced shall we say. A lot of gibbering and jabbering in these videos and uh, I don't want to take it over from the shave so get on with it would you? Yes yeah, certainly. Here we go against the growth. Merca Future Chrome version setting 6 most aggressive setting but very nice adding that um Shaving oil, huge difference. Very nice. Here we go. There's a little dot there, see that? Listen to that. Beautiful. We go to the chin with water now. What a nice scent. If you've never used menthol soap. This particular, well, generally the scent, um, especially in this country, is along the lines of Vosine medicated shampoo. Which we used a lot as children, my mother always used that. In glass bottles then. You can still buy it today, but it's in the plastic now. Doesn't seem as strong today though, for some reason, I don't know. Like everything else really. There used to be, um, when I was younger we used to have a, a biscuit, it's like, it's like a chocolate biscuit with jam and um, some sort of nuggets or whatever it is inside. Um, wagon wheel it was called and it was a huge thing. They, you can buy them today but they're a damn sight smaller. Everything's gone smaller because they used to be huge things. Hence the name wagon wheel. But uh, yeah they've gone down. lovely. What time is it now? Pick up time! Okay. Well, I can't leave it out. Okay. Neck brace time. What's that chap on the TV? 
I've been involved in an accident or some sort of candle in condensation. Right. If you're not from the UK, you want what the hell I'm on about. Here we go. Pick up time. There is the odd um, dot of blood, as you can see, but I'm quite happy with that because it is it's a on its most aggressive setting there. And um, you imagine if you if you added pressure to that, I had no pressure. I lift it if anything, very gentle, and you still get the odd. So if you added pressure, you went thinking, "Ooh, do, do some damage." I tell you, look at the gap. You could walk through there. <laughs> Just a touch. Perfect. Right. No, it's not. Now it is. I'll rinse off. Warm water. Warmed up again now. Right. Clever stuff there. Christmas already. Oh. One week to go. One week to go. And it'll come and go like that. Okay, because I'm using the um, the menthol theme and a bit of a clovey theme. Medicated Thayer's Super Hazel. Medicated Super Hazel. So here we go. Yeah. Cool. Very clinical, very clean. Very dentist. Sort of sense, dentisty. Anesthetic, right. What do you think? Hmm? Not bad. And now for the eyes watering. Osage or Osage. Osage, I say, rub. I put this in a bo bottle years ago. Smell that. <laughs> this is Vosine. It's green in colour. You wait till these, that's a good dollop there. Ooh, smell that, come on. <laughs> right, breathe in. Through your nose. Good. Oh, I see. Oh, that's gonna go through the old uh, eyes. But I tell you, very nice. So if I start crying, it's not. I'm not upset or anything. It's just the fumes. <laughs> and then put the moisture back in. I'm gonna use the old Nivea classic because I know this, as it always does, will mix a lovely scent. Yeah, goes. God, that's icy cold as well. 
which is lovely when you've used an aggressive razor, it feels nice. That's a lovely start, isn't it? If you don't feel good after that. Right, just a quick overview. Milka Future Chrome Edition, setting six the whole way through on each pass and pickups. <laughs> Using the Lord Platinum Blade for its second time. Fantastic blade, really nice. Um, yeah, look. Overdoing it. Uh, Grey Dog Brush. Two band badger, superb to look at, to use, and it lathers, holds a good lather there. Red mixing bowl, we use the Sud Sudsy Soapery uh, Shaving Oil, which is Citrus and Bay, lovely, worked well. Um, that was the soap, Sterling Soap Company, Margaritas in the Arctic, menthol, good menthol. Um, it is quite strong, but... Um, it's not sort of like you know you can't see it's it's uh, it's nice and cooling gets even better with each application. Then we rinsed off with water. We used Thayer's uh, medicated super hazel that has another sort of a clovey dentist anaesthetic y scent, which you either like or you don't. I think if you like menthol, you will like the clove side. But if you don't like any of that, um, I think if I'm right. Well, that's my. That's how I feel anyway. And then we used um, Osage Rub. That's strong stuff, I tell you. If you lit that, the fumes are lighter, like petrol <laughs> or gas, as you call it. And then we put the protection with the Nivea Men Originals. And that is it. I'm off to the kitchen to start um, doing a bit of uh, cooking, I think. So have a fantastic Sunday. A good start to next week. And... Even more, I hope you stay in good health and stay positive if you can. And uh, look on the bright side of life, even though sometimes it's uh, doom and gloom. Um, and if you want to cheer yourself up, don't watch television or the news for a week or so. You'll see the difference in your head. You're not so clogged. Um, I do that. I hardly ever watch TV now, especially the news. I, you get told too much. Anyway, going off on a thing. Have a fantastic uh, rest the uh, start to next week. Have a fantastic rest of the weekend, what's left of it, and have some great shaves. Thanks for your support. You take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.